You've done it all. You broke your neck. Tonight, my special guest is a man who commanded the biggest ever transfer fee for Mansfield Town when he was sold to Middlesbrough in 1989 for a whopping £600,000. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome please, Simon Coleman! What's your overriding memory of your spell here at the Stags? I think just starting my career here, obviously under Ian Greaves, was top manager and just learned everything what stood me in good stead for the rest of my career off everything I learned here, basically, being an apprentice and being a schoolboy, learning off good senior pros. Your career was cut short, of course, because of a of an injury. Uh, would you have liked to have gone full circle and perhaps ended your career here? I did hope I would do, actually. It never happened. I never pushed it. Looking back now, it's one of the things I do regret, that I never come and did pre-season here and just, you know, one last chance, but no, it never happened. What was it like playing with so many... So many big players. Talk to me about the egos and that type of thing. And, and would you say that the players at that level have lost touch with the with the common supporter? Possibly these days, I wouldn't like to say, but not back then. I mean, the last time I played at Premiership was '96, and to be fair, we'd still we'd still go in the bar after have a couple of beers and stuff like that. We have the Sandy Paint Bar, and we have the Kevin Bird Suite. Which part of the stadium would you think fitting to be named after you? One bloke suggested we should sell Simon Coleman so we could get some new toilets. <laughs> so I'd have to say toilets. <laughs> Let's leave Simon Coleman with the last word. Yeah, we have a good uh, rest of the season. Uh, and uh, to be fair, the club needs to stay in uh, league football. As long as we keep on winning and we stay in the league, that's what everything everybody here wants. So good luck to everybody. Here he is, Simon Coleman, everyone. Come and save me, make me smile